Full reactions are available on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes, episode 27 of season 2, Sidekick Scouts, and press play on it when I press play. When the timer reaches zero. Now, this reminds me of from Sky High, uh, Bruce Campbell's character, Coach Boomer. Uh, he would decide whether someone was a hero or a sidekick, and, you know, it'd be super dramatic. You know, if someone was a sidekick, he'd be like, SIDEKICK! <laughs> anyway. Yeah, close enough. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Let's be heroes! I... Mmm. Oh, uh, I'm guessing this is a point episode. Like, the main heroes are looking for, like, sidekick, like, trainees or apprentices. So, oh, cool. Cool. And ship damage. <laughs> In isn't that a secret? Oh! I, I, yeah, totally I'm bored with this, but like, I'm sad that you, for you. Ah! Anti-hero! That's an option! You become like the Punisher, just kill all your bad guys. Cool. <laughs> yeah, let's not jump ahead. Overbearing version of Astro Boy, got it. <laughs> A scientist look. Awesome! <laughs> I kind of love that KO even thinks that, like, he's not just perfect. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, you do that quite often. You probably have a lot more hero experience than others your age. <laughs> Everybody else jealous? Oh. Yeah, sidekicks generally should just be in a support role overall, and if the biggest support factor is defeating some enemies, then that's what a sidekick needs to do. I mean, you can do whatever you think is right. It doesn't have to be about chip damage. I don't actually dislike this character. It's the fun kind of annoying. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Someone really hated Astro Boy. Master. You're like Genos and Saitama. Eh. Now that's actually just accurate. <laughs> Ow! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so insulting for him. Whoa. <laughs> 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 I actually think this is really good for KO's characterization. They haven't gone excess on the innocence factor. Like I feel I feel like sometimes he he's too much of a SpongeBob characterization where he's aggravatingly naive. This is nice. All right. Oh, come on. I mean, granted, I wouldn't have them work with the pickles either, but, like, find something. You have... partially allowed this situation to happen, K.O. Oh. I into the glass too. Oh. What's great here is I feel for both of them. I thought he was going to say villain. Oh, he might be a villain soon, shoot. <laughs> oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need to have a better approach, even, even if he's so aggravating. Yeah, it's a little different. They have very intentionally written this dude to be as impossible and annoying as possible. They've never done that with KO. I actually, I don't like that line of dialogue they just gave in it, where it's like, it's exactly the same. It's just, I from her character perspective, it sort of makes sense, but if that's what the, the point they're trying to make to the viewing audience, I heavily disagree. And I'm coming at this from the perspective I actually don't mind how they're doing the characterization on this character, but I actually really was bothered by that line of dialogue. Oh. 
Oh, oh, cool. His butt lasers. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting paid enough, huh? Oh, that actually looks really cool. I love the flowers there. That was just pretty. <laughs> With a C plus. All right, as I already said, if it wasn't for that one line of dialogue from Enid and them kind of running with it that was totally bogus, love this episode. Oh. It, it's the cartoon thing where they exaggerate characteristics, character, characteristics, yeah, characteristics to uh, make a point, and sometimes it goes overboard uh, into uh, just bad territory, but... I wouldn't have been bothered if it weren't for that one line. Anyway, good episode. Next time.